In this video I'm going to show you how to create a CD cover for a musical act of your choosing. In this example I'm going to be doing Ed Sheeran and making a cover just like the one you see on your screen right now. So jump into Fireworks and we will get started. The dimensions you need for a CD cover will be 12 centimeters width and 12 centimeters height. Your resolution will be 72 pixels per inch and your canvas color should be white. When you click OK, you'll end up with the canvas on your screen. I'm going to start by putting in my background color. So I'll grab my rectangle tool and just draw a square over the top. You can go outside the lines, remember. Now, you could use a solid color for your CD cover. That's all well and good, but I think you can get a little bit more fancy than that. So I'm going to go down the bottom and change it mine to a gradient. Okay, and I think the black and orange look for Ed Sheeran is pretty good. That will suit him nicely. Remember, you can get your black arrow and click on the lever there to adjust different settings and sizes of your um, gradient fill. Okay, so have a bit of a play around with that until you're happy. Next thing I would do is grab the text tool and put the name of your artist in. So I'm going to write Ed Sheeran across the top. I actually like that font, so I'm going to stick with that. Um, the colour of the text and the background blend in a little bit too much, I think, so I might change color of that background orange just to a little bit darker one. Yeah, that's a bit better. Now on this text, to help it pop a little bit more, I might even put a filter on it. And I'm going to put a glow around it. Red glow looks alright, but I think purple would look a bit nicer around that orange. And I might make it a bit smaller too. It's a little bit too big, that glow. Yeah, size 1 or 2 seems to fit nicely. Okay, so that's a pretty cool heading up the top. Remember if you want you can also go down the bottom and change your font just down here. You've got your size as well. I'm pretty happy with how it looks at the moment. Now, the name of Ed Sheeran's CD is just X. It's quite a simple one so I'll stick with that. And just to keep it consistent I'll also put a glow around that one. Bump it down to that size 2 like the heading up the top. Okay, now I've got a big space here that I need to fill in with, with a bit of stuff. So, one thing I would like to do is with my paintbrush tool, I'm going to put some paint splatters in the background here. I know in the unnatural option here, I've got a paint splatter paintbrush. I'm going to make it white, and I'm going to make this. Whoops, I'm going to make the size really big as well up around the 90 mark. and I'm just going to splatter some paint across the page like so. That does look a bit funny. But what I'm going to do is go over to my layers box here and I'm going to drag this bitmap which is my paint splatters and I'm going to put it below the text. I'm going to drag it down and drop it below the text. So now it's behind the text. The other thing I'm going to do to it is change its opacity with this option here. That little checkered box. I'm going to change the 100 Drop it right down so it becomes transparent. Okay, and that just fades out nicely into the background. Okay, we don't want it to stand out too much. It'll take the attention away from the writing and the picture I'm about to put in. But if you drop that right down, I think that looks kind of cool in the background. Another cool trick that we can do in the background is grab our pen tool. And with the pen tool, we want to turn our fill color off. Is it going to give us that option? Oh, there we go. We'll turn it off there. The stroke color we need to be white and we want the line to be a soft line at size 1. So all the way back down to 1. And what you can do with this pen tool, a little bit tricky to use to start with, but just watch how I do this. I get some curved lines across my page. I'm going to go click once and now a blue line follows my mouse. I'm going to click back in the middle of the page here and drag my mouse. So click and drag you get a bit of a curved line. I'm going to come back around here and I might just double click to finish that line. So now I've got a curved line running through my page. Okay, It looks a bit funny now but what I can do with that is put a glow around it. So I go to my filters and stick a glow on there. It starts to look a bit cooler. I'm going to drop the size of that glow down to one or two. Pick a color that might stand out like a yellow. You get this cool line running through the background there. If you put a few of those on your page, it starts to look really good. So I'm going to drop a couple more of those curls on my page. 
I put a filter around them again. This time I might change the glow to a different colour. So I might go back to that purple colour we used before. I thought that looked kind of cool. Actually, that blends in a bit with the text up the top. So I might change that to a green. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now we can add some more in, which I might do a little bit later. But I want to get the picture of Ed Sheeran in here now, just to see how much room we've got left to play with. Um, so what I'm going to do is pop over to the internet now and find a picture of Ed Sheeran on Google Images. Okay, I did a little bit of searching before and I came up with this picture here. This is a good picture to use because it's a fairly big picture and it's high quality. Any pictures that are really small are not going to work for this task. They'll just go really pixelated and they're really blurry. So you need to have a picture that takes up at least half of your screen size. Once you've found a nice big picture that you like of your artist, you just simply right click on it and copy the image pop back into Fireworks and make yourself a new document. Fireworks knows the dimensions that you're going to use for this new picture so you just click on OK go up to edit and paste your picture in. Okay, And now our job is to simply cut Ed Sheeran out of this picture and place it onto our CD cover. Now to cut him out we use the Polygon Lasso tool. So hold your mouse down when you see that lasso and choose the Polygon Lasso tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here to make life easy. What we're going to do is we're going to start cutting him out. I'm going to start on his shoulder here. I'm just going to click once. And a blue line starts to follow my mouse. My job here is to just click, 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 click. Keep clicking my way all the way around the edge of his body. Maybe just inside. You can scroll on your mouse to move around. I'm just going to do a rush job here. When you get to the edge of the page, you can cut straight across and then click and go back up the other side. Doesn't matter if you give him a little bit of a trim and you miss a bit of his arm or a little bit of his hair, that's fine. As long as it's reasonably close to the edge. If you take your time with this, you're going to have a really good looking CD cover. But if you rush, you're going to have jagged edges, you're going to have a messy looking cutout, and it won't look very good. You will lose marks for that. With the hair, if there's long scraggy pieces that show white behind the background there, you just want to cut them off. Give him a bit of a haircut. We don't want to see that ugly white background behind him. So I'm going to cut those stray pieces of hair off. Okay, eventually we get back to the start. When you get to the start and click on the starting piece, you'll have these little marching ants appear. And that shows the selection we've just made. Okay, so I'll zoom back out by pressing Control minus and you can see that we've got this nice selection around Ed's body. Next thing you need to do is just pop up to your Select menu and choose Feather. And you'll need to make the radius either 1 or 2 pixels. What that does is just smooth out the edges by 2 pixels. So there's 2 pixels around my selection will be smoothed out and it doesn't look quite as jagged and doesn't look like a messy cut. So I'll go back to the CD cover now and simply go to Edit Paste and that will, whoops, I forgot to copy him. So let's go back here, we'll copy that selection first, then we'll go back and paste him in. That looks a bit better. Okay, he's pretty big at the moment, so what I might do is just make him a bit smaller. And to do that I use the scale tool just below the black arrow. Hold shift, just scale him down a bit. Okay, he's still a bit big, so we'll put him in there. Okay, it looks good. Because Ed doesn't have any legs, you can see that he's got his legs chopped off, it's good to have him at the bottom of the page to hide that cut. We don't want to show people that we have cut his legs off. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I reckon we can get one more pen line going through the back there. So what I'm going to do is just cut straight over here, straight through his head. Uh, that looks pretty good there. So what I'll do is put a glow around it. That red doesn't look too bad, so I might stick with the red. Okay, the issue we've got now is these lines are in front of Ed's body. And even this one up here is in front of the text. So what I'm going to do, these lines in your layers panel are called paths. I'm going to pick those paths up and I'm going to drag them down and sit them behind most things. Okay, so now the lines go behind Ed's body and they go behind the text up there. Okay, that's pretty much it. So 
you can have a bit of a play around. Some good things to also add in are some um, more paint splatters. You could add in some shapes and do some fancy things with that. Like you get a star maybe. Draw a little star in there. Give it some colours if you wanted to. Um, give it like a yellow and a pink. They kind of look cool. And if that stands out a bit too much, which it does, you can always drop the opacity. Drop it right down, it'll just fade into the background. Okay, so there's some different ideas. I don't really like that star, so I will delete it. There's some different ideas that you can do. Even on Ed's body, you might want to put a filter around him, like a glow or a shadow behind him. I'll put a little glow around him. Uh, make it nice and small. Even that purple colour we used before might work. So you decide what looks good. Okay, and that's pretty much how you make your CD cover. Don't forget, when you are finished, you need to go to File, Save As, and save it as a JPEG. Okay. And we're done.